Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Femininely Fit Podcast, Episode 10. I'm your host, Nadine Maria. And in today's podcast episode, I want to talk about why do women only want to date 20% of men and what is the psychology behind it? You know the saying that goes, 80% of women on dating apps choose only the top 20% of attractive men. And yes, by nature as women, we are hypergamous. And this has been well documented across culture. And in fact, that women on average all over the world prefer to date a man in a higher socioeconomic status. And this is okay because most social scientists will agree that the reason why this happens is because a woman wants a man that can provide the resources necessary for their families to survive and for the well-being of the family unit and as i said before that's okay it's just in our dna and this is how we are as women however even though women are more independent now than they have ever been before women tend to still only want to go for the attractive men that top 20 percent of men even though these women know that they are not in these men's league or are they in the same social circles and i wonder why is this why do women that are say on average a two out of ten tend to want to go for the top 20 percent of men no matter what is it that we as women we have been brainwashed or seduced uh, uh, to the 50 shades of gray fantasy or is it that we were all told at a young age that we are princesses and we deserve a prince charming no matter what our stage status and that the social circles that we belong to in life does not matter or is it that women find no honor in building generational wealth with a man the way our grandparents did this is the million dollar question because what is it that really causes women to only look one way and no matter what that is what they want and if they don't get it it's game over okay so now i'm gonna talk about a true life scenario that happens to a lot of women and i have just one thing to say ladies stop being unrealistic for example you will have a woman who might be say a two out of ten and she will tell you that she needs a man that is six feet tall works six figures have a six pack and he needs to be packing six inches and if he does not look like that and come in that package she will tell him up front that don't bother even messaging her looking at her or even talking to her and this is the mindset of most modern women even though she is an average woman she will not consider an average guy but the truth is that the top 10 or 20 percent of guys are casanovas and they are willing to sleep with a woman that is well below average for one a good time just for fun when he's bored and just to netflix and chill and because that happened that one or two time she will think that she has a shot of landing that top 20 percent man and that is all she wants and you cannot say anything to change her mind 
so she will spend the next 10 to 15 years chasing that top 20 percent of guy hoping to catch him but sadly for her she will soon find out after many attempts and after many years wasted that he will not commit to her in some cases he will treat her badly and he will tell her that he will commit but really he won't he will make her feel special for a moment but really and truly he makes her feel that way only when he wants to smash the truth is that the top 20 percent of men they are the ones that are having sex with all the women and all they want to do is really netflix and chill he will sleep with these average women or below average women but he will have them in the friends with benefit category or he will just friend zone them and most women don't realize that they are being taken for a ride until it's too late he is a man he will not refuse sex and a lot of women will confuse the fact that he is sleeping with her and will confuse this to be love oh he feels something for me or he likes me and so that's why he's sleeping with me no these are the men that will sleep around until they're in their late 30s sometimes early 40s and they will not settle down with just any woman most times they are just sleeping around until they find that one woman that sparks something in them that makes them want to settle down and because he is a man he can afford to do this he can afford to sleep around until his 40s and then decide to settle down when he's ready but a woman not so much because by the time a woman gets to her 30s she will then realize that she cannot land this top 20 percent of guy and then she will start to look around now at th that stage in life for an average guy to settle down with someone to start a family with someone that can take care of her financially and then by that time sometimes it's just the, the, the pickings is, is slim like you know it, it's slim pickings because because by that time most eligible men are looking for younger females to settle down with the ones that are in their early 20s they're not checking for the late 30 or 40 year old women and then this realization backs most women in a corner because she realizes that she is not getting any younger and she needs to find a man to settle down with and by that time she will just take any man that will have her because she wasted her early years or her 20s running after this bad boy Casanova who didn't want to settle down so ladies do not waste your youthful years your early 20s running after a man that don't want to settle down use those years to find someone who is willing and ready to commit who is willing to have a stable long-lasting relationship with you that will lead to marriage be intentional with dating and be consciously selective about the men that you choose to give your time because for us women time is precious and we do not have time to waste so let's get back to the scenario now so you have women that are in their late 30s that is uh realizing that time has caught up on them and they will just settle for any guy that comes her way and these are the same guys that she wouldn't even consider years ago but then because she's not getting any younger um, she decides to settle for him and then marry him and so this got me thinking 
could this be the reason why women are filing for divorces 80% of the time? Could it be that most women are still wishing and hoping for that bad boy Casanova to be in their life? So my sisters, please make wise choices. And then on the other hand, you have scenario number two, where some women will not settle but instead they would rather to say stay single for the rest of their lives waiting to catch that top 20 percent of men even though they are average women at best and they are not in the league of those men or are they in the social circle women will convince themselves that they deserve those men no matter what and they will not settle for an average guy because in their mind they think they're not average women whichever of the scenarios resonate with you both choices are crappy in the long run and as i said before women you have to date with intention and you have to make conscious decision and choices because this is what dating is like in the 21st century so ladies if you fall within any one of these categorical scenarios please do yourselves a favor and change your mindset see god or get therapy so thank you all for listening and if you would like Follow the show and also listen to another episode wherever you choose to listen to podcasts. And if you so choose, please share a review with me. And if you're watching or listening on YouTube, please leave me a comment down below and also subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And remember that there is no her without him and there is no him without her. So until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.